Today on Houston Live, Texas is opening up vaccines to everyone starting on Monday. Your questions answered in today's Medical Minute. And Tangie Patton of Good Taste TV is back with comfort food classics, including her ultimate mac and cheese. Plus, NBC's Superstore is coming to an end, and Lauren Kelly is getting the scoop ahead of tonight's one-hour series finale. And the rodeo might have been canceled, but Cap Houston is bringing it back on a smaller scale. So get your cowboy and cowgirl hats ready to have some fun. All of that and more today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today on Houston Life. It is Thursday, March 25th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Courtney Savala. Happy Friday Eve, as Happy we like to Friday say. Eve. I know. I can't believe it's already end of March. It seems so weird. End of March, Superstore is coming to an end. What is happening? That's a dream cast show. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to have more on that later on because you know I'm a big fan and you know the cast, they're so nice. Two of their cast members were the first guests, some yeah, of the first guests say, here on Houston Life back in the mall. And that is like a OG connection to the wee beginnings of the show. Yeah, Love full, it. full circle moment, but I've always been a, an America Ferrera fan. She's Did you ever fabulous. watch Ugly Betty? Yes. With Vanessa Williams? Yes. And such so a great, great show. What I love, and we will, we keep saying we're going to talk more about it, but we're still talking about it, <laughs> is the writing. There's so many, like, one-liners in that show and great funny moments where if you're not really paying attention, you just kind of gloss over it, but there's some good zingers it's in it. It's very clever. If you haven't watched it, it's a good chance to binge. Okay, so here's some big news maybe people don't care about, but I think it's relevant because it has to do with bullying. Chrissy Teigen announced yesterday she was leaving Twitter deleted her account. Not just leaving Twitter, not looking at it or putting it on pause, she deleted it. So she had 13.7 million followers and had that account for about 10 years, but she was a huge target for online trolls and people, I mean, people harass other people online all the time, right? All but the for time. celebrities, it's sort of a never ending thing. I can't imagine what it would be like to have that many followers and be, experience this constant barrage of comments, mostly positive, but the negative ones are, I don't know, it just gets annoying. I don't blame her. Yeah, well, in case you don't know who she is, she's, she's supermodel, uh, television host, married, of course, to John Legend. So, I mean, she has a celebrity status. I mean, yeah. maybe not a lot of people oh, might totally. follow her or know who she is. I but think she's an A-lister. Uh, absolutely. Um, but. Her, the target of her bullying and hateful comments that have come at her have really been in the headlines for years. She's gotten so much. But my question is, if you really don't like someone that much or you don't care for someone, but, I mean, I wouldn't say that I'm, I'm not a fan of m many people. It's like, oh, I like that person. Okay, fine. But if I don't like someone, I'm not going to make an effort to go and troll them online. But see, that's a whole nother. It's not about them. It's about the troll. But who are these trolls doing this? They're just grown up, you know, not even grown up. They're just bullies. They're just behind the computer. We get a lot of interesting comments here. I mean, on a regular basis, I would say people just say things, you know, the unsolicited advice. Oh. And I don't think it's like, sometimes it is just outright hateful where people can be nasty. But I think a lot of times people reach out with advice <laughs> that is pretty rude. But you just have to... You have to brush it off, but it is easier said than done. And and I would imagine with that many followers, I mean, she's a global. People know about her around the world, right? And and I always find that when somebody does make a snarky comment and, and you we respond, more often than not, the person is, oh, 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 you responded. Uh, and, and then it's sort of, you know, I love you, I love your shit, or something. Where I think people just say things not thinking that we see it, read it, or will respond. Yeah. So I've also had the opposite where you respond and people dig in their heels even more. Someone wrote to me last week and they said something like, I know you think it looks cool to roll your sleeves up like that, but you look like you're wearing, you know, kids clothing or something. What? I do happen to shop in the kids department. No, I don't. I mean, there, sometimes I roll my sleeve up. I just do. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't hey, know. Remember my T-shirt in Galveston? That was a kid's T-shirt. It was? Remember? Oh, we that's could, for kid size. Yeah. But what? 
It's rolling a shirt sleeve. I know, but someone actually took time to go out of their way and tell me that I looked pretty bad. So anyway. thank you for that, Karen. Appreciate it. Well, let's just bring it up a few notches. Okay. So you know how great, I, I mean, I have friends who are kindergarten teachers, and before you realize that they're a kindergarten teacher, you almost feel like they'd be a great kindergarten teacher. You know, Aww. kindergarten teachers kind of have that a special aura, magic. Right? Yeah. Well, y'all listen to this because this kindergarten teacher went viral for all the right reasons. This is a Seattle teacher. His name's Garrett Talcott. He took his students on a virtual field trip. So he's in Seattle. The kids there, school is not back face to face. Down, yeah. He has been teaching from his apartment virtually since last year. And so he wanted to go to the zoo, take his kindergarten students, all 27 of them, to the zoo. Check this out. Why not still go to the zoo and you guys can come with? So let's keep going. I'm looking to see all the animals. You got it. What is this? Let's be great readers. That's a bear. That's a bear. What do we have now, class? <laughs> A rhino! What did you guys think of our class field trip? Oh. Right? Amazing. And you can hear the kids communicating with them. Yeah. So he took all 27 students to visit the Woodland Park Zoo. Um, and what I think is so great is that he really wanted to have these kids to have an experience. This is the kind of kindergarten teacher he's been since day one, and there's so many more of these kinds of teachers out there for sure. But he says when he goes to bed at night, if he is not exhausted, he has not done his job. Wow. Isn't that neat? It's really magical. It's really, really cool. Just hearing their little voices, I you can know. tell that they were so excited. Oh man, I, one You day should watch more of the will. video, because it's really, really sweet. Isn't it interesting too how people have figured out ways to just sort of connect in this world right. we live in. And something's going on there because it's more it's been viewed more than 800,000 times. So people want that feel good. They yeah. want to go along, they want it. And I think it I think it's your you're right hearing those kids voices just warms your heart. Yeah, super cool. All right, so another thing that is trending online, so there's this BuzzFeed article where nurses and midwives talk about names that they try to talk expectant <gasps> mothers or new moms and dads out of naming their babies. <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, I've heard some interesting names in my time. Right. I've never heard one Derek. like, well, Derek, <laughs> the French spelling of my name, <laughs> born in Salt Lake. Um, so Tarmac, how about the name Tarmac? If you like to travel. Oh, well, that about, sounds convenient. Twins named Red and Blue. Makes sense. Monster Galileo. Oh. How about Egbert? It's oh, a pretty name. It's a family name. <laughs> Mud Piles. No. No. That's what I said. And Killer. Maybe it was Kille. Maybe it was supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Also from Salt Lake. Kille. Kille. Silent R. <laughs> no, b these are real names, according to these nurses and midwives. And, you know, you hear many different variations of names. I had, my neighbor had a baby earlier than she had expected. Sorry, <laughs> this was trying to well, figure out how we to tell the story. we were trying to process that, weren't we? <laughs> One day, she came home and she'd had a baby. And, oh, it was hers. So she named the baby DJ, but it was... Spelled out? Instead of just like a DJ, it was like D-E-E-J-E-I-G-H. It just seemed like we're complicating a very simple situation to me. <laughs> what is happening? It's like AJ, yeah. your son. Like, a what, like, like, what are you, like, <laughs> AJ, A-A-A-Y-E-G-H. <laughs> A Y E H. Oh my gosh. R. Actually, that is how we spell his name. Oh, this is a pretty spelling. It'll look nice in cursive. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, a lot of good things. I almost out was there. Baby Girl. I have two birth certificates Baby Girl mm -hmm. and Courtney? Yeah. Oh, Baby Girl would have been better, I right? think. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Welcome to Houston Life. I, I'm Dare Shore, and I'm Baby Girl. <laughs> Time to grow up, Court. No. Oh, boy. No. That's a good one. I know. That, either that or it was going to be Lana, but Lana Zavala, my mom said, didn't sound right. I still like Baby Girl. I do, too. <laughs> still to come, how one New Hampshire woman is proving age is truly just a number. Yeah, speaking of new babies. Plus, you may have missed the rodeo this year, but we're going to take you to one local spot with a special rodeo-themed event happening this weekend. Oh, I get it. It's Camp with a K. We'll be back in two minutes.
just let the people stay. You know, we say this all the time here, age is truly just a number. Totally. Proof is in the pudding, right? Yeah. A 57 year old New Hampshire woman gave birth to a baby boy and his name is Jack. Check it out. There she is. That's awesome. Now, she found an IVF clinic that would treat her, uh, treat a woman in her late 50s. This is also called advanced age. By the way, your advanced age after 34. Wow. She was in labor for three hours and credits good genes for this delivery. And according to the Today Show article, she was weightlifting until the day she went into labor. Wow. Yeah. Um, they apparently the couple had a um, had a, a, a child who died very young uh, due to cancer, and so I think they they felt this kind of void. And uh, at 57, she was able to carry the baby full term, give and have birth, and a beautiful, healthy baby. And you know, it's one thing I think to be said to be active and staying active. And clearly, you're not getting your heart rate up to 175 when when you're pregnant yeah um, but when you do that your body can adapt and it's used to um, doing strong to hard things something that I think a lot of people would not even think possible right but I think knowing the backstory I think their child was actually like 13 years yeah, old or something yeah a teenager and passed away Very a teen loss, yes. so they lost their child and decided to try again and who knew that in her late 50s it would be successful I know you know I <laughs> funny story first time pregnant with Connor and I was probably the weekend you know right before I had him I was in a spin class and um, the spin instructor said you better not have that baby on this bike but why not I well I think she was just kidding oh. you know but I did I mean I had him that weekend Wow. Crazy. It would have been an exciting spin class would if that had happened. Exciting. We could name him Spin. Oh, <laughs> that would be perfect. Cycle. Spin, <laughs> cycle, Zavala. <laughs> it's lovely. Hey, so speaking of uh, couples and family and all those things, did you hear about this couple who recreated their wedding photo? They essentially went back to the same spot all these years later, 50 years to oh, be exact. This word. is their 50th anniversary photo. So check this out. The photo on the right, this is Iowa couple Carolyn and Kelly Gay. The photo on the right is 1971. And the photo that Carolyn is, or the, the dress that Carolyn is wearing in the photo on the left is the same dress. That's really remarkable. She still fits into it. Same church, same everything. I love it. Funny little tidbit too. Guess how much their wedding cost back in 1971? 1971, I don't know. About $340. Are they missing a zero, couple zeros? <laughs> no. no. Can you believe? Fantastic. 340 bucks. Yeah, the article's on Daily Mail. I love the photo. I really do. You have to kind of look at it to see because she looks the same yeah how many people could fit into their wedding dress 50 years later i, I can't fit I... into mine no all right well we want to hear from you when do you not act your age join the conversation on our houston life facebook page we will share your comments later in the show you guys know monday through friday that. three to four yeah um <laughs> okay are you missing rodeo season camp houston is bringing the rodeo back on a little bit smaller scale with a special themed event this weekend yeah we sent joe sam out to check it out joe tell us what this is all about well, this is going to be really, really exciting, you guys. They are bringing the rodeo here to Camp Houston and turning it into Camp Rodeo. And Ashlyn is here with me to explain this menu that people are going to be having to check out when they come. And it is a massive spread of food. Let's get right into it. Yes, yes. So right here we have our camped platter. It's really a fan favorite. It has all of your barbecue favorites and everything you would want as a foodie. Mm -hmm. We've got ribs, sausage, oh. shrimp. You got your wings, your fried catfish, toast, and your sides. Mm. Of course, you can never go wrong with your lote corn. That's always great. And of course, we have our fried catfish with our oh shrimp my and fries. That's, I mean, who can go wrong with fried food, right? Absolutely. Um, and then lastly, we have our stuffed baked potato. You can either get it loaded, as you see here, right, um, with your three favorite meats, or you can get it individual with whatever meat you want. And then we have the drinks. Come on yes, now, look at, yes, I've been waiting yeah. for you to finish up with the food so we can talk about I this know, monster I here. Know. <laughs> this is one of our newest drinks. It's called Henny Thing for You. It's literally got, of course, Hennessy in it and a lot of your other favorite little cocktails. Okay, type really of quickly, let's get to these because we only have a couple okay. of seconds yeah, left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we over here we have our lifeguard on duty. Um, this is our Canadian Connect, 
and our guava frozen, which is also definitely a fan favorite. And very quickly, tell us again, why did you guys decide to bring the ro rodeo here to Camp Houston? Because people have been missing out on it. I know, since we didn't have I it. know, I know. Really, you know, it's basically the camp experience, but rodeo style. You know, the main thing was just literally just giving something to the community that we've been lacking, and we want to bring it right here to you at Camp Houston. There we go. Well, Ashley, you know what? This is not it. There's going to be so many different games and activities. Yes. And, and actual mu music that people can yes. come here and check out. We're going to show you some of those games when we come back. I'm going to go and try and tackle this now because it is a hot day, Courtney and Derek. So this is going to go very well with the theme for today. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> Bam. It's mm. a perfect day for it. Joe, we'll see you in just a little bit. When we come back, it's more important than ever to give back to Goodwill Houston. But where does the money raised go? We're going to find out after the break. And ahead of next Monday, when vaccines will become available to all adults in Texas, an infectious disease expert from Memorial Hermann will join us to answer your questions. Houston Life will be right back. Welcome back. Did you know that April is Financial Literacy Month? In an effort to raise awareness of the importance of financial literacy, Goodwill Houston takes the effort into their own hands by helping their own. Houstonians work towards self-sufficiency. Here with more on Goodwill's Houston's financial services is VP of Fund Development and Community Relations, Barbie Parker, along with Business Service Project Manager, Laura Pena. Ladies, welcome to the show. Great to see you again. Great to see you too, Courtney. Hi there, thank you so much for having us. Of course. Well, you know, Goodwill Houston does offer financial services really to help people become more financially literate. And Barbie, if you can, walk us through, how exactly does that happen? Well, actually, I'm going to throw it over to Laura because that is her zone. Thank you, Barbie. So people know to come to Goodwill, of course, when they are in need of a job. But uh, we also offer financial uh, literacy and financial coaching. It is a free service, and we do this virtually. So we're able to have conversations with our workforce members about um, their budget. How are they doing financially? Is there anything that we can do, maybe additional resources and services that we, that we can connect them to? I think it's so great. It's much more, Goodwill is much more than just that thrift store that we know, that we love. We love to bring our donations there. We love to find these great finds in the store. And these are people, um, specifically, you target veterans, older workers, at-risk youth. The list really goes on. And I think it's important because you're bridging the gap for a lot of these people. Exactly. So, you know, and we also help veterans, like you said, and people that were formerly incarcerated and that just have no idea where to start. Um, so come visit us at Goodwill Houston. We have shifted all of our um, programs to a virtual platform. So we're able to help even more Houstonians get back to work. And the best part about it is that all of our programs are free of charge. And that is due to all of the donors and shoppers that um, shop with us at Goodwill Houston. So we are so grateful. It's really wonderful. And and I also love the community support because Goodwill, you know, has been around for so long. We know and trust and love the name. Um, what can we do as a community to help? Just continue to shop with us and donate with us. And, you know, 95 cents out of every dollar goes back to our mission programs, which is incredible. So we appreciate each and every one of you who donate and shop with us. And you are helping to change lives when you do so. And I think a lot of people, maybe if they are uh, financially insecure at this point or they're thinking, I need a job, but I'm not qualified, a lot of times people are intimidated to ask for help. And that's where your door remains open. Exactly, exactly. And Laura, everything is so, um, it, it's, a, it's an easy process. You know, again, like I mentioned earlier, you're going to come a good well because you're in need of a job, but there's more to that conversation. We're going to offer you a holistic approach. We're going to um, have a conversation about what what else is happening. Do you need more training? Um, do you need to maybe just work on your interview skills? And again, all of these services are being offered virtually. Uh, we look at your resume. We look at your skill set. We have so many assessments and so many services that are going to help build you up and get you ready for that next career. And a lot of times I think people hear this, the opportunity to get help, and they think, I can't afford that. Well, Exactly, and so it's free of charge to everyone. That's the most amazing thing about it all. And we have so many different programs 
not just financial literacy classes, but so many others. So come see us at goodwillpeepskin.org and we are happy to help you. I think it's wonderful. The mission continues. I love that. And by the way, you also uh, offer tax preparation as well for those uh, that you're working with. Barbie and Laura, thank you so much for your time today and continued great work in our community. Thank you so much, Horton. Have a good day. You thank too. You. For more information, make sure to visit goodwillhouston.org or you can call 713-692-6221. All right, now we're going to check in with Derek with some answers on the COVID vaccine. Hey, Derek. All right, Courtney, thanks for that. You've probably heard by now that starting this coming Monday, the COVID-19 vaccine will become available to all Texas adults. And some still have questions about what we can expect when it's time for us to roll up our sleeves and get that shot. Dr. Linda Yancey from Memorial Hermann has the answers for you in today's Medical Minute. You absolutely cannot get COVID from this vaccine. There is no COVID virus in this vaccine. Uh, there is not even killed COVID virus in this vaccine. It is impossible to get COVID from this vaccine. It is as likely that the boiled egg that you ate for breakfast is going to hatch into a chicken as for you to get COVID from this vaccine. So side effects. This is a good news, bad news situation. These are highly immunogenic vaccines. The good news is that's going to give you good high level protection against getting COVID. The bad news is these are very immunogenic vaccines, which mean your immune system is going to kick into high gear. Your arm is going to be sore and probably swell up. You're going to run fevers for 48 to 72 hours. As mean as this sounds, that's a very good sign. That's a nice brisk immune response that's going to give you good high level protection. So you are going to get some side effects. Take some Tylenol, take some ibuprofen, lay on the couch and watch Netflix. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, we all still have to wear masks after getting the vaccine. And that's because we don't know for sure yet if the vaccine prevents the virus from spreading to others. We know for sure it protects us against severe illness and death, but we're still working on figuring out if it prevents transmission. Now, what I can say is that some of the animal studies that have been published on this in the last few weeks have been very, very positive. So hopefully we'll be able to take off our masks soon, but not today. And if you have any questions about masks or COVID-19, you can head to memorialherman.org slash coronavirus. Now let's send things over to Lauren Kelly. Lauren, say it isn't so. One of our favorite NBC shows is coming to an end. I know. I tried to convince them otherwise. But, you know, coming up, our favorite employees of Cloud9 are closing the doors for one last time. I'm chatting with Nico Santos and Colton Dunn of NBC Superstore ahead of tonight's series finale. Plus, a look at what is ahead on the news at four o'clock. Houston Life is back in just two minutes. Well, welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday Eve. Friday Eve. And earlier on this Friday Eve, we asked you, when do you not act your age? Here's some of what you had to say. Amy writes in, when I'm hungry or tired, I'm kind of a cranky kid, like a cranky kid. Yeah. I think that's pretty common. It's hangry. Like those Snicker commercials. I love that. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly writes in, every day. Age is just a number, and why let it stop me from being who I am? An awkward, very clumsy, goofy mom always looking for a good time. I think she looks beautiful. Oh, and Debbie writes in, oh, Tanya rather, every day I've got a husband 10 years younger that I've got to keep up with. <laughs> Very nice. And one more for you, we have Debbie. I may be 62 years old, but take me to a carnival arcade and I'm a six year old again. I want to pop the balloon with a dart, go to the ring toss and land a ping pong ball in the fishbowl. And don't forget the funnel cake. Very nice, Debbie. I love it. What about you? I don't know. Monday through Friday, three to four. Yeah, same, yeah, same. I'm kind of a kid at heart. I feel like when people start taking themselves a little too seriously, that's maybe when the adult sets in, but we're all kids at heart, right? I know, you gotta have a good time. Life's too short. Yep, yeah, too short, you only right. live once. All right, well, let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what they have coming up at the news at four, which is just about 30 minutes away. Hey, guys. Hey. 
Hi, guys. See, I turn into a kid when I get on roller coasters. They make me giddy. Oh, my God. Oh, I bet you just coasters. scream. Oh, yes. Scream like oh, a little girl. <laughs> me too, though. There's some, there's some hollering going on, depending on good ones, yes. When I'm tired, I think I get a little, I, I, I can turn into a, a toddler-esque <laughs> when you're very tired. <laughs> yeah, great to see you guys. Hey, no one's really complaining about the forecast today, no, right? I was laughing. I, I used to play, I play bridge, right? Yes. And I play with this older woman. I used to. And I would say, you, you know, you only live once. And she'd say, hopefully. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, she was ready to check out, huh? <laughs> I miss her. Uh, all right, 81, 79, 78. Look at these skies. They're so pretty out there. We have a gorgeous evening in store. If you're going to be out walking the dog, a little jog. A lot of folks at Memorial Park this morning, 81, 79, 76 at 6, 70 at 7. It's going to cool pretty quickly. It's going to be clear and calm. It's breezy right now. It's going to calm down, stay clear. Temperatures drop like a rock into the mid-50s. I wanted to show you this because I've been talking about it all week. And look now, a tornado to watch right there, Mississippi and Alabama until 8 o'clock. All of these boxes, look at this round circle. That's as high as it gets as far as the threat. Strong tornadoes, winds, hail, flooding rains. And all of these boxes, you see all the red boxes, are tornado warnings. South and North Carolina, Georgia now, Alabama, Alabama, Mississippi, they are really under it as they go through this evening. So hearts out to them. We're watching for this front on Sunday. That's going to continue to pull in a little moisture by Saturday. Friday's beautiful. Saturday, a few clouds, maybe a slight rain chance Saturday and Sunday. It's not a big deal. We'll talk more about it coming up at 4 o'clock. So here are your takeaways. A beautiful dry evening. So a great date night, a day early, a fantastic Friday, and the weekend may be a bit of rain. We'll go over that coming up. That was good, Frank. Thank you. Uh, look now, some of the other stories that we're covering this afternoon. President Joe Biden promising to double the number of COVID vaccine doses administered in his first 100 days in office. That goal now at 200 million. The president also addressing the crisis on the border, what he's saying about his decision to undo some of the Trump administration immigration policies. And speaking of the border, KPRC2 is bringing you comprehensive coverage. Investigator Robert Arnold will report from the border starting tonight on KPRC2 News at 6. Anchor Chris Gutierrez will join him for live team coverage beginning tomorrow afternoon. And finally, some bad news when it comes to cruises. The industry had been lobbying the CDC to lift sailing restrictions. And ahead at 4 o'clock, how much longer cruise lines will have to wait before setting sail from U.S. destinations. So certainly a lot coming up today at 4 o'clock, you two. All Absolutely. right, guys. We'll see you then. Well, after six hilarious seasons, NBC's Superstore is closing their doors one last time. We do not like this news. The comedy series is known for its fantastic cast and also how it touched on some of today's most topical issues. Lauren Kelly has more from two of the show's stars. Hey, Lauren. You guys, I tried to convince them otherwise, and fans will say goodbye to the employees of Cloud9 in tonight's one-hour series finale. And I got to chat with Nico Santos and Colton Dunn about some of their favorite Superstore moments. Take a look. Of course, now you can buy all the lattes you want. You'll need them. You'll be busy now. Social engagements, travel planning. I guess that's why wealthy people get personal assistance, huh? Oh, I don't know if I need a personal assistant. I like to be hands-on with everything in my life, especially the men. Am I right? <sighs> you are right. And I love it. I'm very sad today because after six seasons, NBC Superstore, the series finale is tonight, and here to console me about it are Nico Santos, and he plays Mateo. Colton Dunn, you play Garrett. Guys, I don't want to say goodbye, but I know it has to be more oh. emotional for you. Oh, it's okay. Everything's going to be all right. Don't worry. <laughs> Tell me about the joy the show has brought to everybody and just how it kind of is culminating in this series finale tonight. The show has just meant so much to, to, to everybody. I mean, the, the fans, the, the crazy thing that's happened in the recent months is that we've been available in, in streaming services like around the world. So there's this crazy thing where the show is ending, but a lot of people around the world are starting to just discover it. So it's been very bittersweet having that interaction with people like, I love this show, I just discovered it. Um, and we're like, we're ending, our series finale is tomorrow. For, like you said, the new fans who are just joining the show and catching on, can you go ahead and kind of give us the quick recap as to where we've been and where we're going tonight? Well, you know, tonight's episode is, you know, going to be a big season finale. Where we've been, I mean, we've been everywhere in this show. Um, you know, basically, you know, if we, first of all, the store, 
has its own story. You know, it's been hit by a tornado. It's been, uh, you know, uh, rioted in. Uh, there's a lot of things that have happened to this store, and we're going to sort of see what happens to the store tonight as well. Uh, but you're also going to get to see some of the relationships, I think, that we've all grown to love over the years and sort of see how they sort of wrap up and where they end up. Uh, so I think it's going to be all around uh, a satisfying finale episode. Thank you so much for taking the time. We're really going to miss seeing you on our TV shows uh, nightly, weekly. But, you know, we just love what you've done with the show. Superstore will remain streaming on Peacock, which we're really excited about. So if you want to catch up on any of the episodes, you can do that there. One hour series finale is tonight, 7 o'clock on KPRC. You guys stay safe and take it easy. Best of luck. You too. Thanks for watching. And last year, America Ferreira left the show to pursue other projects, but it is confirmed that she will reunite with the cast tonight as a final farewell to the series, which she left last year. Her character, Amy, I'm just glad that she's coming back for the series finale. There, all of those characters are such powerhouses. Lauren Ash is on the show. I just, I love the way they all work together. It's really brilliant. Well, so, and Lauren, I know you've interviewed other cast members. Mm -hmm. So we had Colton Dunn and Ben Feldman on Houston Life a few years ago. But last year when I was in LA before the pandemic hit, uh, Coleco, Lauren Ash, um, oh, here are some of the photos oh, right fun. here. What was cool is I, I got to interview them two by two and the way they sort of teased each other and Aww. were so playful with each other behind the scenes. You can tell this cast That's is tight. like a family. Yeah. And, and I think I think they will stay in touch. Also, when this show went on the air, I was still living and working in LA, and I would drive down this road every day, check it out. No way. No way. So this is not Sarah. a real store. This is the back lot of Universal, and it's this mini little facade with nothing behind it. It's literally just a wall. Behind it is the Harry Potter ride up at Universal oh and some hotels if you look carefully. So when you watch the show, they have to Photoshop CG it out. So That's why I could never live in LA. I would be so confused all the time. Like, but people, all people try to go shopping. At Security the on the lot is like, you will not believe dozens of people every single day try to come shopping at Superstore. They think it's a real store. That That's funny. Is so funny. That's a great story. I love hearing Great that. interview, too, Thank Lauren. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's going to be a really good show. It's sad tonight to see them go, but it's going to be great. Yeah. I know. Keep well, the tissues close You by. can catch that finale of Superstore at 7 o'clock right here on KPRC, too. All right. Sounds good. Coming up on Houston Life, we are in the kitchen with Tangie, our friend cooking up some comfort food classics. There she is, and today she's got ultimate mac and cheese and a list of other things you don't want to miss. Oh, comfort food coming our way. Plus, we're showing you where you can get a taste of the rodeo. Houston Life will be back right after the break. I mean, this segment is going to be real good. When it comes to comfort food, dishes like meatloaf, some mac and cheese, they're pretty standard, but you can always find local restaurants putting their own spin on this home classic. They all look so good, these Smells dishes. So good Tangie you know Patton of Good Taste TV is back to share those recipes with us straight from her kitchen to yours. Tangie, it's always great to see you. Oh, guys, great to see you. Now, one of the dishes on your table there is from my kitchen. The other two are from some wonderful Houston spots, and they scream comfort food, no matter what mood you're in. This awesome, always good food. The first one I think you've got in front of you, Derek, is Ronnie Killen's meatloaf. That's right. And it is phenomenal. He tells me this recipe is actually from his grandmother. And I don't know if you guys have been to Killens in the Heights yet, mm -hmm. but it's oh, yeah. all comfort food, fantastic. So many of the recipes uh, were the recipes Ronnie grew up with. So it's delicious. And there's something special about that meatloaf. I know we all think we make a great meatloaf, right? One of the keys with his is he makes a little light gravy and pours it on right before he serves it. So it's mm. already got the, the ketchup topping on top and then he pours this light little gravy on it and it just makes it oh so juicy it's fantastic and the saltine crackers are like a binding agent right tangy because a lot of people might add i don't know mm -hmm. like rolled oats or some sort of like breadcrumbs maybe but in this case it's those yes. saltines 
Yes, they are. They just kind of hold it all together. And sometimes a meatloaf could be too dense. I love this one because it's not. It just kind of breathes, you know? It's it's really good. And it has that tanginess of it as well. It's, I mean, Ronnie does everything right. So that meatloaf is fantastic. And it's great to outsource a comfort meal like that. Okay, now I know we're skipping ahead of dessert here, but Kenny and <laughs> Ziggy's, the famous blintzes, don't even try to make it, just outsource this. Oh, absolutely. How many times have you had blintzes and you're like, well, they're okay, okay. But these are by far, I think, the best I've ever had. I think they're just delicious. The cheese he uses in them, it's, it's got a cream consistency to it, so it's not too dry. It's just perfect. And then they top it with the beautiful fresh fruits. And you know, a blintz, you can have it for breakfast, you can have it for dessert, or you can have it just because. They're fantastic with a cup of coffee. Oh. Um, these are so delicious, it should be criminal, Tangi. They are... <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Yeah. It is so good. It's perfect for 3.44 in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, they really are. Both those recipes are on GoodTaste.tv, by the way. And you can watch Ronnie make the meatloaf. He shows us exactly how he does it. It's so wow. great. Okay, this mac and cheese, Tangie, your ultimate mac and cheese. By the way, I love yes. this cast iron um, pan that you cooked it in because it's the shape of Texas. Hang on. It's the cutest thing I've ever so seen. Cute. It almost makes me not want to cut into this, but I'm going to. Um, <laughs> talk to us about this recipe because Go for it. you say it's really easy. It's super easy. If you've ever gotten into mac and cheese, I mean, we've all done it out of a box. This is so much better. And if you've ever tried to make a chef recipe for mac and cheese, it's kind of a process. You've got to do a bechamel with roux and, yeah. and get it all just right. This is no, this is fail proof. I used American cheese and American cheese has a component of it that is a binding agent in a sense. And it allows the cheese to melt and get nice and gooey and melty without separating or getting clumpy. And this recipe comes together in no time. I mean, it is literally uh, half and half. You use a couple of cups of half and half, a mixture of the cheeses you like and American cheese, whisk it all together, pour it over the cooked pasta, and you bake it for about 35, 40 minutes, pull it out, you have this delicious crunchy, I don't know if you've tasted that mm -hmm. topping, but oh, it's got yeah. butter and thyme and panko breadcrumbs and a little Parmesan, so it gives it a nice bit of buttery texture. It's delicious. Your kids can make this, it's so easy. It's fantastic. This I, is where a have home I been run. living <laughs> my whole so life good. without this mac and cheese? I'm gonna see my mom and my nieces this weekend. Oh my Tangie, word. we're gonna make this and let you know how it goes. It is absolutely so delicious. And you use like a rigatoni yeah. pasta? I like the rigatoni because it's a little bigger than the elbow macaroni. And I love the fact that a lot of the cheese can get inside the little individual um, noodles, you know? So you get the sauce on the outside, but you get some on the inside too. So it's just a delicious, creamy, rich mouthful. And it's really unexpected. Wow. That's what I really like about it. It's kicked up a notch. Yeah. Very simple. The Definitely. taste is out of this world. Mm -hmm. um, and you always knock it out of the park with the wine. So let's start with the rosé. Yes. It's the coolest thing going on this month. You know, it's Women's History Month, but HEB has been celebrating women winemakers all month. So I brought a couple of wines that I love that are made by women. And I think the first one you've got there is the Florida de Prairie, which is a traditional Provence style rosé done in Provence. I love it. Minerality, a hint of strawberries. It's just beautiful. Pairs with everything you guys have in front of you right there. And then the next one is the Chalk Hill Chardonnay. I brought that one specifically for that mac and cheese because I think it's just a perfect pairing. And Courtney Foley, the winemaker for Chalk Hill, is doing the virtual tasting online this evening at six o'clock uh, on HEB. So if you Google HEB Women and Wine, you'll get the link and you can sign up. It's free and do a virtual tasting with her. Hear about the wines and about her role as the winemaker at Chalk Hill. That's really great. I have a bottle of Chalk Hill in my refrigerator. Yeah, 18 bucks and the rosé is $14. Tangie, before we let you go, the wines are delicious. Thanks for letting us know about the virtual tasting. What's new this season on your show? Good Taste TV, Saturday and Sunday mornings on KPRC2. Well, this, I, I, I told you guys this before, this has been my favorite season. This was our sixth one, but this year working during the COVID situation has really been not only challenging, but, it, but meeting these restaurant guys and their survival stories has been quite uplifting. And this weekend, we'll take you to a boozy, which we all love mm -hmm. on Westheimer. And then we're going to take you to an, the best patios in Texas. We've got some great ones. 
One of them is a hamburger place in Denton, right there, called LSA Burgers. If you have not been, it's a destination. The burgers are over the top. Open venue on the roof with live Texas music. They pay an homage throughout the restaurant to Texas musicians. It's worth your time. Patio season is here. Tangie, thank yes. you so much. You always knock it out of the park. I can't wait to try the recipes. Mm -hmm. Cheers to Enjoy. you. Enjoy. We'll see you very soon. And to our viewers, if you'd like to find these recipes, just visit our website under the food and drink section. You can't miss it. Just visit HoustonLife.tv. Unbelievable. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. I can't even explain. All right, now let's check back in with Mr. Joe Sam, who's out uh, checking out the rodeo-ish. Hey, Joe. That's right, Derek Ish. So we're in the Galleria area. We're going to be telling you about the activities that they're going to be having here at Camp Rodeo happening all this weekend. It's some fun stuff to be had, and we're going to give you all that information when we come back here on Houston Life. I knew I was going to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome back here to Houston Life. We've been having a great time here at Camp Houston. They're going to be having their Camp Rodeo event. Bring it in on a smaller scale here, and it's going to be a lot of activities that you and your family can get into all weekend long. We're talking to Tulsa here to give us some information about it. This is going to be really fun. So let's quickly, I already have the basketball in my hand. We're getting ready to play. Talk about some of the other activities that they can take part in. Yes, so we will have a 40-foot Ferris wheel. We're going to have... Um, a mechanical bull, a jumbo slide, and a petting zoo with a pony. Wow. Now, it all kicks off tomorrow at what time? 4 p.m., 4 to midnight, three-day event. Three-day event, so it wraps up on Sunday. And then where can people go to get their tickets or information? Yes, our, so you can get our tickets at eventbrite.com slash camp. Rodeo. There we go. So all of that information coming in. There's going to be the food, which we showed earlier. Amazing drinks that you can get, too. But right now, we want to play some basketball. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to do the mechanical bull just yet because I think I would win any time on that. We don't know how this is going to go here. So okay. Are you ready? We're going to see how many, if you can beat me here in this year, which you probably will. Okay. We ready? All right, let's get it. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, oh. I got to get at least one other man. <laughs> got it! Do y'all want to play it out? Oh, there we go. All right, we get at least one in. See if we can get one more. We can get to the next one. All right. Oh! Oh! We got a winner. <laughs> we got a winner here. <laughs> really quick again, tell us why it's so important for families to come on out here. Because we know we missed the rodeo this year with it being canceled. But you guys are putting it in on a smaller scale for people just to have some fun and get out and just enjoy themselves. Right. It was mainly for family, friends. We wanted this to be something for our community to, to provide, you know, a safe place for them to enjoy our rodeo. Absolutely. And they want everyone to come out in their rodeo attire. So get your cowboy and cowgirl hats out. Get those boots ready and come on down here and have a good time. There's going to be a lot of activities and a lot of things for you to take part in. We're going to send things back to you guys right now. We're going to play some more basketball. You ready? <laughs> All right, Derek and Courtney, we're going to get it. Back All to you guys right. in the studio. Good luck. Woo! Keep going. After the break, a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show, including an exclusive premiere performance you can only see right here. Very nice. But first, let's check in with Kevin Frazier for a look at what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight. Hey, Kevin. Courtney and Derek tonight on ET, Oprah's big business move as she sits down with another superstar, plus our on-set exclusive with Melissa McCarthy, and before Superstore's series finale, Ben Feldman is back as our guest co-host. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. Now, sit tight. Houston Life will be right back. Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, meet the local woman who went from battling cancer to having a thriving hair care business. Plus, we'll get the exclusive premiere of one of Houston Ballet's performances from their series in good company. And another chance for you to spin and win on our Houston Life prize wheel. And by the way, guys, this week we are adding another great prize from the Valencia Hotel Group, a two-night stay at the George in College Station. Ooh, located directly across the street from the Texas A&M campus, the George brings an authentic, refined, and local experience to the Brazos Valley region. And you know what? This is perfect timing, though. Do you see the women's team from A&M oh, yes. beating Iowa State? Yes. This is so exciting. So congrats to them. I know a lot of A&M fans are over the moon.
Yeah, a right lot at of the buzzer in OTAN. Tomorrow for the uh, Sweet 16 game. Uh, we've successfully eaten the panhandle in West Texas of mac and cheese. We have. <laughs> and typically we would be ending the show over on the sofa, but. This was so good, we had to just come down and uh, and wolf it down. But in there case you are wondering, the recipes are on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that food section. There's the recipe right there. You should definitely make this. It's a crowd pleaser. It's so good. It is so, so good. Well, Courtney, that was fun today. It was on this Friday Eve. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we'll see you back tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're going to send it on over to our friends in Studio A. Keith and Christine, there they are. Hey guys, if you have maybe a little foil, you know, a couple little of plates, things, you know. Yeah. A little to-go container. Yeah, yeah, you could shift some over We know people. Yeah. We have a to-go container, but there won't be anything in it. Oh. <laughs>